Yes, it's the hosts of this summer's Euros against the team most tipped to take that title. Both showed promise in their opening matches, but neither could take three points. Test two for Serena Wigman's team, and it might just be the toughest of the lot. Spain's recent style has given them hope of success. Barcelona have already taken titles, and with so many of this Spain team from that Barca team, they will hope to benefit in similar style on the international stage. It doesn't always work that way. So the sides lined up, and first up, the national anthems. Spain and all the action after this short break. We are at Harrow Road for the Arnold Club Cup England v Spain and let's take a look at the two sides. And Serena Vigma makes a hefty nine changes from the Canada game. An England debut in goal for 21-year-old Hannah Hampton. A first international start for Jess Carter. Bronze and knob start for the first time under the new manager, while Jill Scott wins cap 155. Ellen White restored up front and captains the side. Spain picks six of the team that drew with Germany. Once again, a heavy Barcelona presence with that all-conquering midfield, but also still a place for the only member of the squad who plays outside of Spain, the Manchester United fullback and Catalonia-born Ona Vadje. So this afternoon, we have FIFA's best of 2020 in Lucy Bronze. And she is up against FIFA's best of 2021, Alexia Puteas. What a battle in store. England have a winning record against Spain, but that was partly built up before Spain's football gains. England are now facing the best ever incarnation of the Iberians. The high bar set by Canada is not about to get much lower. Referee today, Juliana Dimitrescu from Romania. For this blockbuster contest. And all the players take the knee. A lovely reception in Carrow Road, taking note of the message. No room for discrimination of all kinds.
Well, away we go at Carrow Road. The Lionesses against La Roja. And looking to immediately be on the front foot. Emma, you laid out pre-match how these sides would play. Just reiterate again how you expect this one to play out. Well, we've seen that over the past 12 months, the Spanish team has averaged the football 70% of the time. So it will be a counter-attacking game for England. And already getting forward with bronze in towards Paris. It's flicked up onto her hand. Take a look at the shape of this England midfield. Nobs can't get on the end of that. Spain will start their passing. Don't need me to tell you, they like to keep the ball. <laughs> Well, you can see that, you can see already England set up in a 4-2-3-1. And they've got Stanway and Scott protecting the central area. It's going to be crucial for them because Hermoso plays in the false nine position. He has a particular interest to play down this left-hand side. And that's where I think Spain could become dominant today. Overloads with Puteas, Hermoso drifting into the inside spaces. And Badge, who often plays a right back, but can play in both positions. She's been moved across to left back for this one to accommodate Sheila Garcia on the opposite side, who usually plays her football in forward areas. Atletico Madrid is Mapi Leon, one of the Barcelona presence in this Spain team. Hermoso looking for Garcia. And the first chance there for Jess Carter to stretch her legs in defence. Well, that's what I've come to see from Carter, especially over the course of this year. But you see already Hermoso peeling off onto Lons Lucy Bronze's side, just taking up that little bit of space in front. It's an area where she can be so dominant as a right-footed player, looking for passes in behind. I think Puteas in particular is going to be important for her. Here is Puteas looking to help that on to Lucia Garcia. Slipping in, looking for that pass to Amoso, but Lucia Garcia came off the bench to replace Caldente, to which she went off injured. Starting today. Zivana, another of the changes. Real Madrid centre back. Real Classico centre back pairing for Spain today. Well, one thing you will see throughout this game is a feature of Barcelona's, um, excuse me, Spain's build-up play, is that Patry in midfield will look to come and join the centre-back pairing, sometimes to build as a three. Most of the time they're trying to do that to draw an extra player out in midfield, but I can see the way Stanway and Scott are set up. They're sitting in the spaces, protecting areas where Homoso drops into. Spain making those changes from the last game, but that core Barcelona trio is still intact. Fundamental to the way they play, and here's one of them, Tana Bonmati. Forced back there by Jordan Nobbs. Sheila Garcia. It's Patrick Iharo. Mateus. They don't have to fight each other, but England carrying them there, giving them any time on the ball. Well, that's the thing, you can't. They've got the most perfectly balanced midfield. You've got Patry at the base of that. She recorded 19 passes into the final third against Germany. And what you have alongside her, Bon Matti, probably one of the best dribblers in world football. And with Puteas in and around the box, she makes the most number of passes into the penalty area from anyone across Europe. On England being pressed hard here and losing it. Stanway caught in possession. Badge. Hermosa inside on Mati. Boteas runs in the way. Garcia Garcia. Can't pick out Boteas. A good position there. Badge. De Leon. To step in, build from the back there. Badge need to link up, and Bronze can't get there. Here is Badge going for the shot. It's going to break. 
to Garcia. Inside it goes, England get it away in the end. And he did that free kick there, Paris. You can but see when they lose the ball. Their high, Spain's high ball recoveries are exceptional. They really are the best, I think, in world football at doing that. And England have to be cautious. When you build out in these areas, any turnover, I think Spain are very, very clinical. Push again with England on the ball, the Greenwood. There are two survivors from the Canada game. That was a strong challenge from Ivana and an unfair one in the end. On Ellen White leading the line for England again. Well, I do think it's a smart tactic from England to skip the two midfielders out and play to Ellen White, who naturally comes into that false nine position. Because otherwise they're going to be forced into long ball situations. Ellen White, the record breaker for England in that game against Latvia, the all time greatest goal scorer for the Lionesses. Jay cutting out the pass to bronze. Nabadje, Manchester United fullback. There's Jess Carter. Greenwood to White. Stanway. England have worked this well. Mead. Knobs breaking forward. Plenty forward here, England, with a to an end. Jordan Knobs. The ball back again here and help it. Thomas a penalty error, miscued that one. England keeping the pressure on. Scott goes for goal. Oh, she was caught there, she got her shot away. Well, good ball recovery there from Georgia Stanway, who set out already as the deepest lying midfield player. You can see what Serena's looking to do today, looking to get the ball up to Ellen White, to set back to midfielders, to play out wide to Mead or Paris. Here is Badge. And to make it difficult for Spain to bring that ball out, but they do it so well. Puteas, another of her classy touches. Hermoso. For the ball through the middle to Bonmati. Likes to make those breaks from midfield. Well, from midfield that you know well, Emma, in that game against Chelsea in that Champions League final. I mean, she's such a good player. She really is. I mean, while Puteas is the midfielder with the best gift to put the ball into the box, Bonmati's the best dribbler. Spain winning the ball back again in the England half. Garcia. Patri Giharo, player of the match against Germany. Ivana. Giharo, that's a clever ball into Bon Mati. They work it wide here. I don't know. But well read by Jill Scott. She felt she was caught again, looks to the referee, no decision for her. Again, Badge. Almosa's made a good run, but there's Lucy Brooks. Paris, can England get out this time, though? For all the possession that Spain have, I think a, the opponent is most vulnerable when Spain turn the ball over. And their high ball recovery, their counter pressing is so exceptional, it's where they create chances. Oh, trying to hold that ball up, couldn't do it that time. Ajay just calming things down for Spain to start again. So often over the years, Emma said about Spain that they will be good, technically good on the ball and everything else, but they don't harm you too much in behind. So this Spain has the edge. I don't know. Got away. There was a little tug there from Greenwood. Well, I think the hard task you have is, as you see, with Bonmati dropping short, is it's no long, no, not just Patry who's able to get on the ball in the deepest spaces, Bonmati too. But Hermoso's causing England all sorts of problems, just dropping into the half spaces. Garcia, Pateas. 
MP Leon. Here's the nickname version of her start of her name. You see Maria on the back. Searching ball, and Hannah Hampton gets her hands on it. Be a settler for her. Her family moved to Spain, incidentally, when she was five. Scouted by Miriel, played her in attack. That uh, career has ended up between the sticks. She bowls that out to Lucy Bronze, who was immediately pressurised by Sia Garcia. Well, carrying on from the Canada game, this is England's biggest problem. You know, their ability to build out, turning it over far too cheaply. putting the foot in on Badie, and England looking to break away, but Rodriguez's position was excellent, flags up anyway. Look at 50-50 between Paris and Badie. Certainly looking for a foul, but Badie's made the second most tackles in the WSL. Very aggressive defender. Sheila Garcia. The Spain side, the player in just her fourth cap, not in her usual position for her club. Here's Ivana. Here Leon. Shoots so well, so many of the Barcelona players. Here's Lucia Garcia. Here's the athletic club. The basket. England having to work so hard out of possession. Both Scott and Stanway have to stay central as much as possible, not get drawn too high in the game. Patrick Yaharo sends it out to that side a bit too much on that, but they won't stop her playing those sort of passes. Patrick Yaharo, best player on the ball. She recorded 96 passes against Germany. It's uh, the most in this calendar year. She's an exceptional passer of the football. Jordan Nobbs. What can England do here? Since they've probably got a player down, actually, at the moment. I think it's Daly. They'll put it out. Down to Palana, especially under this Spain press. Rachel Daly playing at left back at the moment. Well, as I said before, you're most vulnerable against Spain the minute they turn the ball over. I think in this case, she does get clattered inside of her face. In the throat as well, painful one. The situation actually in the game against Canada as well, the court. And as you said, Emma, absolute fighter, Rachel Daly. But for Serena Vigman, 1-1 against Canada, the test she wanted. Fine first half from England in that particular game. What do you think it changed in the second half? Well, I think the fact is, listen, it's a different game. You're playing a team like Canada, which is a little more similar to England. I think it changed because England struggled to build up. Once you play a high-pressing team, I think this is something Serena has to solve going forward. And you can see they're struggling even today with that same problem. The other for me is getting Lucy Bronze involved with the game because Ellen White certainly needs her service in the game. But I think it's going to be difficult for her to get out because of the overloading down her side. The yeah, problem here for Daly, as far as dental work is concerned. But England uh, restored. Full number of players on the pitch, Daly returns. And Spain will return to their build-up play. Rodriguez. Too much on that. She was put under pressure, the goalkeeper from Real Madrid. But that's one thing I think England should do, is they press Spain on the backward balls like that. I think that's where you can force the turnover with them. And I think when they're in these areas, they're going to have to be patient. And if you beat the press, this can happen. Nobs. And it goes to Mead. And Mead sends it in. It's a ball played by Rodriguez. Well, that's certainly good play from the Arsenal pairing. Nobbs making the underlapping run. I think White makes the decision to go front post here. There's a back post ball. Bronx winning it back. 
to charge forward. There was an outlet for England, and she'll take that corner. Well, that's one thing England do need today. Even though she was in the game in the second half against Canada, she made five crosses, and I think that's the service Ellen White will need today. One of England's best set-piece takers has gone across to take this one in Greenwood. Can England toes from this corner? Greenwood to take. John Scott in there. We're just making sure things are right and proper in the penalty box. Well, it has to be, because England have scored 13 goals from the last 11 games from set-pieces. This is their strength. to the near post. Greenwood, keeping them guessing. Finally in from Greenwood, teaser for Rodriguez to be rescued. The defensive header and Apileon trying to run it out. Well, that's interesting set up from Spain. And player marking everywhere, just one zonal player at the front post, so there's certainly mismatches, especially for Jill Scott. England set it in towards Scott. Break to a white shirt, will it here? Bronze battling, and Bronze penalised. She's unfortunate there. Good spell of pressure from England, certainly got the crowd going. But I think when England are aggressive in these areas, again, I think this is something that's improved under Serena's leadership. Ivana out to Sheila Gonzalez. Here's Mead. The line to link up with Jordan Nobbs, two Arsenal players. One Mati. Jay. Watch for all they mixed up there. Can England rescue the situation? Carter clears it. Bon Mati going for the chip. And England survive. Ah, miscommunication. You see Carter first to the ball. Clearly Hampton's called for it. I think Jess Carter does well just to get something on that. An early moment for the young goalkeeper and the young defender. But again, zero build-up from England. Got to find a way to solve high presses. It's the same, the Spain goalkeeper having the same problem. Well, but as I mentioned before, I think once there is a backward ball towards their goalkeeper, that's, I think, a great opportunity for England to press. Mateas put under pressure by Scott. Almost paid off for England. Stanway, now bronze. Scott trying to turn. Mateas. to England, they're working so hard off the ball. See how far Nobbs came across, how much work Paris is doing going backwards. It's we a can great see effort. Sorry, I mean, they're just to cut you, you can see on the back of the shirt there, the name Patry. Spain tend to go for the first names. They're calling their players. Don't worry, not getting the names wrong. Here's Nobbs. Pileon. Giharo being pressurized there. And they've had a bit of joy in the last five minutes or so. Well, that's where I think they've been smart. They're not allowing Patri any time on the ball. She pulls the strings. That means Bon Matti has to get more involved like she is here. 
worked it wide to Badier. Sal Garcia. Hermosa. One of those with her surname on the back of her shirt. De Leon. Sal Garcia. Driving down the line and bronze. We'll see it out just about. Lucy Bronze, whose last competitive game for England was in the World Cup. Again, good doubling up. Paris supporting Bronze down this side. And 2v1, do a good job. Lucy Bronze, FIFA's best of 2020. The Ballon d'Or wasn't held in that particular year. But yes, on both those prices. 2021. Anna Hampton and England deciding to build out from the goal kick and then Greenwood goes long. Oh, that was a good one there for the tight marking on Mead. The thing is, the way Spain are setting up to press is almost like Canada did the other day. And England are not brave enough to play through their fullbacks. And yes, Spain are setting the traps for those areas, but if they drop one or two yards I still feel they could play out through bronze and daily Greenwood going long and Paris trying to sneak in behind I feel they aren't taking no chances that time Better that 13,000 in Caro Road for this one. So that's pretty much half full, and that's fabulous turnout considering the storms the last few days. Any commitment. Well, here comes Puteas with a bit of space. Like a spell of problem for England. You see a Garcia. Pateas, there's the one touch quality, and this is a problem, and there's the cover from Carter. Well, we're seeing Pateas' quality in the final third. It's a great combination down this left hand side. I keep looking across, and Spain still short of bodies in the box. And not to reference Harry Kane or anything like that in regards to his striker taking your corners, but Hermoso does like to take the corners for Spain. Well, Hermoso sends it there, England should easily clear, just got past the head of Puteas. Sheila Garcia trying to get past Paris. Paris sticking to task but can't lose it there no foul and England get the blow of the whistle in the end you cannot hang on to the ball once you regain it in your defensive third and while Paris has done a great job this is where they are the world's best and yes they concede the foul but so many times I've watched this team regain the ball create chances from that Well, even at the moment, yes, as we've said so many times, such a test ahead of the European Championships. This could be the final. They both win their group. Obviously win the matches after that. Scott's trying to help it on, flags up. There's nothing in the end. Oh, Scott's, done, down. Scott's done so well with them second ball recoveries every time they've gone forward. I think she's been in and around it to help support Ellen White. Well, Nikita Paris involved in defence there. She didn't use last night her older sister Natasha Jones becoming WO, WBO world champion. Some good news in the family there. And she become European champion in the summer. As Ivana. And it goes and Amoso dropping off the front. And almost finding a way through, Bonmati making a run, Carter dealt with it. This bounce is awkward for England, Stanway. 
Kronz. It's just Carter. Stanway read it well, turns. It's a launch an attack, but caught on the ball. Treat Iharo slides it. Bon Mati. Bon Mati to sell Greenwood there. And getting the bodies back. Cardona. Cardona whips it in. Hampton pushes it away. And Stanway, mostly for England in the right place. But England's finding it difficult in that sort of area. Well, that's where Stanway has to learn two balls in a row. Turnover, holding on to it too long. So Spain, top in possession stats. Creating too much so far, but I hope that will come with this pressure. So England just can't get out. Bronze, though, down the line. Sometimes that might just be the best option in this scenario. Well, I think in those situations they are, especially with Ellen White willing to run the channels. Ajay. Get back from Puteas. Ramosa. Sia Garcia. Ajay. The carousel begins. Pileon. Puteas. Badier. It's not strange seeing a fullback there. You see the style of play. Badier leaving it. Puteas couldn't quite get it away, but then Nobs loses it immediately. Pileon. Spain have England pinned in. They do it so well. They suffocate you, make it so difficult. Was that run inside from Cardona, one of the Real Madrid contingent? That's what I don't think they do enough of. You know, those runs in between the centre-back and the full-back. You've seen on, on this side with Bronze and, and Carter. Carter's got the pace to cover those areas. Jorge Vilda watching on, the man who's actually revolutionised this Spain team. Now, England want a booking for Badier here for the challenge on Mead. Just come across to the opposite wing here. I certainly think going forward need to be more coming down both flanks, so smart move. Now getting behind England here. Greenwood. And Daly turning away. Had to try that now. Can Ellen White hit goal side here. Rodriguez. Always high. To cover that. Flags up again though. Ellen White, who scored against Spain in 2019 last home meeting against them where they won England do have a winning record against Spain but not this Spain and we have to repeat that of course because this Spain revolution it feels since Jorge Vilda took over after a period of the same manager from 1988 to 2015 Jorge Vilda taking them to the next level and making them favorites for the Euros Leon. Nirvana. Now time on the ball. Looking for Corona, who seems quick there, but Hampton comes out. Well, that's the space I'm referring to. I think the one big difference between Barcelona and this Spanish team is the lack of, I think, top, top quality wide players. Caroline Hansen and Leaky Martins, Barcelona thrive in those areas. I think that's where Spain, you know, have to really find their next level. Well, Hampton finding knobs into that position, but they're quick to press again. Well, I do think as the game wears on, England will try to play a little more out of the back. I totally understand with this aggressive Spanish press why they're going longer. Paris forcing a throw in there. To Paris, no goals for her in the WSL since signing for Arsenal. Game time hasn't been easy to come by after they signed plenty of players in those forward areas. Now, Spain, how will they build out under England's pressure? Trigi Haro, be back to the goalkeeper. Lisa Rodriguez. There's bronze. Matthew Leon is there. Mateus couldn't get away from. 
from Scott. Big tackle in there from Jill Scott, who has been doing that for a long, long time. A debut back in 2006. Well, I think she's done it really well today. It's been around the second ball. She's been prepared to put her body in the way. I think everybody wasn't sure if she was going to play as the deepest line player. But Stanway's got that role. They wanted a free kick. They're not going to get it. And a lot of that looking towards the officials for a bit of assistance. And Patrick Giharo scooped all forward towards Samoso. Carter tight to her. Stanway. Now Greenwood. Paris. Interesting tactical battle. As we saw in the game between England and Canada as well, the game between Spain and Germany. These are top level sides. Just makes it so fascinating. Trigiharo, Nivana. White trying to put the pressure on. Oh, Pateas, lovely touch. And it sets the tempo for Spain, it feels like. Badje, she just took a heavy touch herself. Now White will challenge from behind. Must be a free kick, and we're going to see a booking as well for Ivana. You can't make challenges like that. I was wondering if she was going to give the free kick. <laughs> a clear foul. Good aggression again for England to get the ball back and the game plan is working in terms of getting the ball up to White but beyond that England have to find I think more especially in the wide areas if they're going to fashion many chances Absolutely. this is not Spain's first choice centre-back pairing Pereira on the bench and Paredes in out injured Greenwood playing it in towards Stanway again. Spain quick to trigger that press there. Wanting to get out of this one. Bronze goes long now. White offside again. Oh, nearly there. But that ball across to Bronze, that's where you can draw their midfield out. There's that clip ball in behind that's definitely on once you solve the initial press. Certainly see with Greenwood so far being really brave, wants to be on the ball, wants to play. De Leon. Looking for Badje and Bronze caught in two minds of who to mark there. Ramosa. Pressurising from Meade. Ooh, Puteas didn't like that challenge. Left for Meade the big stare. Ramoso, Mateus. Ramoso again, dropping off and again. Mateus once more. Moving, shifting. And Patrick Iharo, they work that nicely, just runs out of play. But we saw the little Barcelona combination there again and why they're so smooth. Yes, indeed, but really compact defending from England. They've made it difficult for Spain to get in behind them. And you can see with Patry, she wants to switch the ball to the far side, but England are not letting them settle on the ball, which is important. <laughs> well, Daly wants the assistant to move out the way for her throw in. And Spain get it back. And Pateas out on the right side now. Looking for Hermosa. See what she was trying to do. Carter. Was sharp. Here's Paris. And Greenwood. Oh, the choice there again. He knows that the challenge, even when you do win it back. Well, England have had to work so hard in the wide spaces, even the low spaces. Almosa in the rain. Guteas got that pass out to Hermoso. Here's Mappy Leon. England, everybody behind the ball. They won't be the only side like that. She here against Spain. And then they're inside, exchanging with Puteas. Tree Nihara out to that right hand side, Sheila Gonzalez. Or Garcia, I should say. Puteas. Carter away. 
but that's where England have really struggled. When they do win the ball, bodies are really, really low because they're sat, sat in a 4-4-1-1. They've got to do better at holding the ball up to allow players to get up. Spain find their way through this England defence in their latest attack. Mateas. On Mati. Shigiharo out towards Badje. De Leon. Carter. No nonsense with that one. Seeing her at centre half today. I think the good thing with Jess Carter, she can play anywhere across the back four. That versatility, I think, will be useful for Wiegmann going into the championship. Samoso. Tejas keeping that ball away from the English amateurs and comes to nothing. Spain certainly have to work hard to progress the ball up the pitch. You see Mappy Leon looking to create even more overloads down this left-hand side, but really good defending from England. What about Jess Carter in that position? I just think she's doing such a great job for club and country. She's deserving of what's coming her way. Now, England keeping the press on there. Rodriguez's kick. Can they keep it in on this side? They can. Meads, nicely done. Sends the cross in towards White. Not that far away from making a clean contact with that one, Ellen White. Daly keeping the pressure on here for England in a rare attack. Carter. Stanway. The turn. Gets it out to Mead. Plenty forward waiting for the cross. And Badye took a nick off her and into the arms of Misa Rodriguez. Well, it's the first time we've seen England come down this right-hand side and, and give some service to Ellen White. This is what we come to expect from Beth Mead. S just slightly behind up, difficult angle. But it's got the crowd going again. Well, in Spain conceded against Germany late on. That was the first time they conceded in 17 matches. Since a 1-0 defeat against the United States in March 2020, which was also Spain's last defeat. It's a tough side to beat, a tough side to score against, and that is their template. We hope we'll take them to the world title. Unfortunate to lose against the United States in 2019. Two penalties. Seeing them knocked out in the last 16, that meant they didn't qualify for the Olympics. Is Ivana. Turning and escaping Paris. Jimmy Garcia on Matty. In goes Scott there again. It's tough to get away from her. Oh, that's been that's too much on that, perhaps. Just kept in Garcia Garcia. Had so many chances against Germany now. Pass a little short, and Badje sheepishly runs away. Well, Spain getting a little frustrated. Clear foul on Mead. But England have done so well on the backward ball. And that's another question, of course. Do England have more depth than Spain? Difficult question to answer, as it were, but plenty of talent in England. I think it's fair to say we have the best league in terms of competition, game in, game out, week in, week out. Barcelona dominating their league. But to be fair, they're dominating the Champions League as well at the moment. We beat Arsenal in two games, top to group with Hoffenheim in it as well. I mean, there's no doubt there's a lot of similarities between the teams, but as I mentioned before, I don't see the same wing play that I see uh, in the Barcelona team. And yes, they're stingy. Teams only get really one big chance a game. And you have to be clinical with it. Trying to be well, there, England, with their pressing, really, at the right moments. And as you said, Emma, they've done it, that side of it pretty well.
Puteas. Lovely touch to find Cardona. Who keeps on going and picks the pass to Garcia. Drop for the shoulder, Curla and Hampton behind it. Well, certainly all the play for Spain has been down this left-hand side. Not for the first time, Garcia, Cardono, players that creating most opportunities for Spain. Hampton going long. Now Paris, could she get there? But Sheila Garcia is quick as well. And the winger herself. Nikita Paris never leaves the opposition alone. Such a committed player. Well, I think we have to look at England's bench. I mean, at nil nil, it's been a brilliant defensive performance from England. I think if they want to create more going forward, I look at some of those players on the bench to come into the game. Well, they can make six substitutions, England, in three intervals. So expect to see a lot of that bench in the second half. And that's the one thing, maybe the game just fell away from Spain a little bit when they made all their changes. And that ball forward just going to run away. But that will be a big part in the second half. We could see what we saw in the Canada game, completely different picture in the second half after all those substitutions. Well, I don't think Spain uh, playing their best football in this tournament. What I would say is that England have put together a team with eight changes from their first game, and they've done a really good job, especially defensively. I think to the next level going forward, we have to improve. Yeah, nine changes from England for this game. And Spain get a goal before half time. On Mati to Garcia. Make sure it's flood back though. Magic. Patri Guijaro for once dispossessed, but even when you do that, you have to be better than that. Spain are quick to try and get it back off you immediately. The best sides do in this game as well. Leon looking for that switch pass across and it's just going to run away there but England and Spain meeting for the 15th time and England with that winning record six wins over Spain and no country has beaten Spain more often than England along with France and the United States so they know how to beat them but as I've said already this is a Spain improving, getting better. Beat Scotland in a qualifier 8-0 in their last competitive game. Now, Paris. De Leon, strong defender. He felt that should have been a throw to Spain. A nice smile. So, not to attempt fade at all, but it looks like England have done well enough in this first half absolutely i think the depth is showing their qualities defensively against the top team i think the way england have set up they've made it difficult for spain to dominate the central areas in exactly the way they want to stanway carter out to bronze to see too much of the attacking threat of Lucy Bronze in this game. Tries to drive on now, that's a decent pass into Scott. And then they'll look for Bronze again. Quite work getting him, trying to force the issue down that right-hand side. I think Bronze is still building her fitness after being out for some time. And this big challenge is flying in now. The end of the half, Bronze. Putting pressure on Spain, Pateas losing the ball. Mead inside, not helping it on. Probably a bit rushed in the end. But Spain were stretched. I think that's the thing I'm most critical about with England. Just lack of composure in the final third. They're doing so many things well. Yeah, one more minute, at the very least. And yeah, see ya.
Nirvana. So just like Spain's opening game, didn't create it too much. But Ivana looking for the ball over the top and Hampton. Made that one easily enough to her arms. No real troubles for her by that mix up with Jess Carter. In Stanway. Greenwood across. Now Daly. Perhaps goes back. Greenwood. Now Carter. After the minute played, we don't want to take any chances. See just before half time. There is the half time whistle. As expected, Spain dominating the ball. But England, this much changed England side, have done enough to keep them out, restricted their chances, and posed enough of the threat to suggest this game could go either way in the second half. A debut for Hannah Hampton, untroubled really overall. But the main headline is that neither side has scored. Half time. At Carrow Road, it's England nil, Spain nil. Welcome back to Carrow Road. It is match day two, and later on is our second game in this doubleheader. It starts from 7.45. You can watch Canada taking on Germany on ITV4. And then next Wednesday, that is match day three. Another doubleheader for you, all on ITV4. Spain taking on the Olympic champions, Canada, followed by England against Germany. All the build up to that one is at 6.45. Well, meanwhile, here in Norwich, we are at half-time and it is nil-nil between England and Spain. One change so far, Nikita Paris coming off and Lauren Hemp there, you can see, warming up. She is coming on. Ennio Luco and Ian Wright alongside me. Is that a positive change? You're happy with Ian? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, the one thing we know that Lauren will give us, she'll, she'll get the ball and she'll run at people. Um, she'll get crosses in. It's going to be very positive. I'm, it's been unlucky for Nikita, but it's very tough for her to get into a game like this, especially with the lack of service she's going to get. So feels for her in that, in, in that respect, but in respects of Lauren Hemp coming on, we need that. Yeah, I think if you look back to the Canada game, Lauren Hemp was the bright spark of the England team, certainly in the first half. Everything good attacking-wise from England came from Lauren Hemp, so that's a great change. You know, that's, again, going to help us to create chances, get in, you know, get in the defensive half for Spain. Do you want to see anyone else come on in? Um, yeah, I'd like to see Kira Walsh come on um, because I know that she can control the game. But just to go back to quickly with Nikita Paris, because I remember that kind of happened to you. Happened to me a few times when I played for England. You're playing and then they play players that can't get the best out of you for when you get on. And she's going through a spell in her career at the moment where it's not quite happening for her for whatever reason. And then the England manager plays her in a game when she hasn't got the best midfielders to help her to get the ball to do what she does. And it's really, I feel sorry for her in that respect, but yeah. Going back to that, yeah, I'd love to see Kara Walsh on because, yeah. you know something, I'd, I want to see Kara Walsh play every single day if I could because she's so good. And from the Spain perspective, if you're Jorge Vilda and you've got the changes that you can make as well, one shot on target you've been limited to in the first half, do you make the changes too early? Yeah, I mean, I think I think they could, they could bring on someone who's going to have a bit, bit more of a cutting edge. I think Spain have always struggled to have that cutting edge. Jennifer Hermoso comes comes to the ball a lot. She's not a massive threat in behind. I think that's where Spain have a bit of an Achilles heel. Um, maybe that's a change that he can do. You can hear that round of applause, and that's because England are coming out onto the pitch. Second half is going to start imminently. Defensively, they've been quite good bit more of the same in that respect, Ian? Yeah, I think so. I'm really pleased with Jess Carter because I've watching Jess, I've seen her a couple of times. She's the only person I've seen bottle up um, Lauren Hemp. And watching her without somebody to mark is really interesting because she's getting to learn it. She's learning, she's, like Emma said, she's doing better and better every single day. So I'm really pleased that she's doing well. I'd like to see her again in a, in a England site, maybe again next to Millie Bright. So as we can see her, but like at the same time, you know, at the moment, I'm quite happy with everything that's going on at the moment. Jill Scott as well, actually been quite reliable. We spoke about her pretty much too. And we don't want to keep harking on about her age or anything, but she has been, she has done <laughs> a job. same age, yeah, she's done very well. <laughs> very young. <Yeah. laughs> she has done a job. She well, has she done does, a good yeah. job. She's got, she's got, she's tried to get in behind. She had a shot. Um, she's tried to link up with, uh, with Ellen. Yeah, Jill will always give you energy in midfield. She will always give you that. She has for so many years. Um, 
And, and again, I think England are in the game. I think England are in the game and, and they can score, they can get into those areas. Um, so lots to be positive about for the second half. Excellent. A uh, bit more meaningful attacks for you, Ian? You know what I'd like to see? I'd just like to see um, the ball go into Ellen White, sticks, and then we can follow, follow up and get into that area of the pitch. See Lucy Bronze get up on the right-hand side. Yeah. Tear some crosses fizzed across the box. Let's try and get into that situation so we can put them under pressure. Mm. OK, guys, we're nearly ready to kick off again. You can hear the crowd here at Carrow Road. They've been exciting so far, haven't they? They've been noisy. They've been involved in this match. They're hoping to see a goal, though, in the second half. And I imagine they're hoping to see it from England more than anybody else. So let's get you over to your commentary team for the second half here at Carrow Road. It's Emma Hayes alongside Seb Hutchinson. A great reception for Lauren Hemp in her home county. The girl who started playing for North Horsham Youth for a short stint at Norwich. City. And she is on for Nikita Paris. So one change from England and one change from Spain. Inia del Castillo, a Real Madrid forward, coming on. Cadona making way, a Real Madrid teammate. So Spain underway. Emma, are you expecting any change from those changes? Well, I was critical of Spain's wide players. Del Castillo is a fantastic player. And I think with Caldente, who had, is not playing today, they, for me, are the top two players for them in those positions. So I think she'll bring something to Spain. Equally, Hemp coming in. We all know this is her home territory. All the pressure from England might pay off here. It's Hemp! Oh, couldn't have come closer. What an impact that would have been, just seconds after coming on. I think the stadium would have exploded. Just the player England needed. She will bring so much to their attack going forward. So close. Spain themselves scored straight after half-time against Germany. Almost got a taste of their own medicine there. Trucking back off the ball work. Fantastic performance from her in the first half. Spain giving it away. Oh, but Stanway couldn't squeeze it through. A bit shaky start to the second half from Spain. Would love to knock them out of their rhythm. They're so good in their rhythm normally. Well, like I said, going forward on the left hand side, England will have a different dimension. But I think Spain will too down their left hand side. High foot from Jill Scott. Frustrated. Well, she didn't mean it there. Cap 155 for Jill Scott today. Still the rain comes down from Caro Road. Guteas. has been stuck with that midfield three through the middle of the second half against Germany. Puteas trying to get round Scott. We're trying to crowd round her there. And there was a late challenge, and the referee's going to bring a card out here for Beth Mead. Well, I don't know because I haven't seen the replay. It looked a little late. But you can see Spain looking at Mappy Leon, their left sided centre back, to be the playmaker for them. It's a foul, but I don't know about a yellow card. And I didn't feel in the first half that Patrick Gijaro dominated and dictated the way she did against Germany. So Mappy Leon will have to do a lot of that on that left-hand side. The Barcelona centre-back is going to take this free kick. England have everybody back. Leon sends it in, Hermoso looking to steal in, Nivala taking the shot, and it was blocked in there by Greenwood, ends up spinning behind. Well, it's a great ball, Mappy Leon showing her qualities on the dead ball. And while England win it in the first phase, not good enough around the second phases. 
Greenwood close to that, and I think it hit Hermoso in the end, hence the goal kick. England trying to pass out. That's what Spain want to see, so they can press and win it like that. Puteas. Bon Mati. Quickly, the cover from Jordan Nobbs. Another long time serving in this England team. Oh, I think if England are going to build out the use of their fullbacks, they have to come really, really low, invite the press, and look for different options other than just up the line. Well, Matty, forced back. Zidane. Matty Leon. Here's Del Castillo. Carrying that ball inside, that sharp play, looking to link up, and she still has it. Worked it well as well, let's hear Garcia. And a big challenge in there from Rachel Daly, who could bring it away now for England. And they do have numbers forward here. Stanway, needs, classy touch. Now Canella won't get to this. Oh, the leg came out from Mappy Leon. Fantastic tackle and had to get it right. Well, it really was perfectly timed from Mappy Leon. I thought originally the ball was going straight out wide to Bronze. And I think that's why Ellen White was a little slow. She didn't quite expect it. England threatened in this second half. But here comes Spain. It feels like we're going to have quite the second half here. And turn fine, Stanway. Nice pass. Nobs wanted the ball played over the top. To Greenwood into Nobs, just stuffing away from her. Well, he's seen already Del Castillo looking to come inside. They're a fabulous wide player. Surprised not to see her starting. She wasn't even in this squad, really, actually named. Caldente the injury to Marina Caldente. Spain to call her up. Badje. Well, Castillo has already shown her intention to carry the ball and play it back inside. That surprised Badje actually in the end. But already making a difference, still Castillo, as you said, Emma. Yeah, well, you can see he's a bit more end product. She's prepared to drive at Lucy Bronze, find that little slip pass. That's where Buteas likes to be. Bring it on, Del Castillo, back it goes. Hermoso, they're linking up now. Del Castillo looks a danger, plays it in. Mateus had made a run into the penalty area. And this game has introduced two top quality wide players and it feels like he's given it a spark. Yeah, absolutely. As I said before, if Caldente played as well, I think England would have had more problems. But this is brilliant from Lauren Hemp. Lovely. First and second touch just to get it out of her feet. Looks to curl it into the bottom corner. So close. We know that Hemp hasn't really had the luck in terms of scoring goals for England. All four of her goals came in that 20 0 victory against Latvia last time out. But before that, she was hitting posts and crossbars and chances. It just wouldn't run for her. And another one there. It's, it's the part of her game she needs to improve on for the amount of chances she gets. There's got to be more emperor, but she's young, she's so talented. Yeah, Lauren M, 20, 21 years of age. Firm fixture, England's best side. Put in from her and Nobbs making the break and she's found and here is the chance for Nobbs can she go all the way tracks it wide it almost paid off there well it's a great run from deep from Jordan Nobbs I thought this is what Germany did so well that deep run from midfield almost had too much time I think the first touch killed her she was just looking for the right opportunity, but it's far too wide. Well, Jordan Nobbs didn't get involved in the game against Canada at Middlesbrough, place where she spent her youth. Daly does 
such a great servant for England. Plays in forward areas for her club in America, but right back and now left back tonight. Scott and Nobbs. She can drive forward here. Hemp's first time ball goes in. Mappy lay on away. Daly. Stanway lining one up. And Rodriguez watched it all the way. Well, there was nothing else in Georgia Stanway's mind. She does this so well. High ball regains from England. I've seen Stanway do this so much for a club team. Hermosa. Alan Castillo. Looking to take on Lucy Bronze. All of best right backs has been turned by Del Castillo. Fine play towards Proteas and Carter. Is it away in the end? Well, I did say in the beginning of the second half that a top player was coming in to the game, and I felt that was the area they needed to improve most this Spanish team so direct Hermosa Marta gets it away as you see Garcia but Hemp nicks in there is Ivana squeezed out there by Patrick Iharo this is an open second half Matty will be pretty unlucky if we don't see a goal here Hermoso, Puteas, sharp turn. Getting the bodies back, here is Puteas, but on too many turns there. And England win it back. Well, that's what happens when you're compact. You can back press like Jordan Nobbs just did. And Nobbs determined. Ready in this second half with a real impact. Right first half on the ball, but... Was bought by her actions in this second half, that's for sure. Yeah, much like the Jordan Knobs of old, certainly started the half really well. And yeah, Samosa. Pileon. To Hermoso, that's a poor touch. And Scott. The whistle's gone here. Scott looking around saying, what did I do? I think it was Scott that was the issue. Mappy Leon, Del Castillo. The ball just brushed the referee there. Not much of a brush, but enough to stop the game. What England have done so well today is they've made it difficult for Spain to switch the pitch. And by leaving Jordan Nobbs almost sat on Patrick Ihara, they've been unable to do it. Been forced to go down one side and stay down that side. Here comes Spain. And the cover challenge there for Mead. Goes Rodriguez. So far, we've flown towards the hour mark already. Here's Amosa. On the line. She's going to run away. Bronze should cover here. Hampton. The young goalkeeper. Growing in confidence. This game so far. Carter. Scott helping it on. She's going to run away here to Baggio. De Leon. Leon again, the centre back. Sees plenty of the ball in the build up this particular game. Proteas, Hermoso. Short combinations. Baggio. Hermoso inside to Proteas. Little bit of space for her to operate. Badie. The break is to Del Castillo. Is this going to loop up? It will break to the Sierra Garcia. And she's dragged that wide. What a big chance that is. She couldn't take it. Huge chance for Spain. 
And the first time we'd seen the link up with Hermoso and Puteas down the left hand side. A little bit fortunate for the ball to come into those areas, but Garcia has to do better. Well, I see it, Garcia, very close there. And we mentioned 13,000, actually the crowd is larger, 14,284, the attendance for this game. Fine turnout at Carra Road. Not as high as it will be at the Camp Nou in March. 85,000 will be there for the Champions League knockout game between Barcelona and Real Madrid, which will break all records for a women's club match. Here's Mati Leon. Mati. That's by Greenwood. He's made him out to make another change. Here we see one of that midfield three taken off. Hermosa. Badge. Badge again. To carry it forward. England getting the tackles in. Spain keeping this move going. Sheila Garcia, but there's him. Knocked out there by Lucia Garcia. Well, Spain looking to progress down that left-hand side with Battier a little bit higher. At times, they've got double width. Gone for the switch here. Adel Castillo takes it down beautifully. Carrying the ball so well. Hermoso. Didn't even get those bodies back. Pateas. Hermoso. Now this is the moment, Pateas, big challenge in, and then the shot over from Badie. Well, what an impact the sub El Castillo is making in the game. She's sitting in between Lucy Bronze and Jess Carter, and as a result of that, with Batier playing higher, England struggling to deal with that, and Hermoso and Puteas on that side of the pitch. Well, Spain have taken off Ona Badie. And Olga Carmona, another Real Madrid player. A lot more Real Madrid players on the pitch for this game now. And England's change sees Leah Williamson take the captain's armband. And on for Jill Scott. It's a double change, in fact, for England. Jordan Nobbs, for her impactful moments, she's going to make way. And England have their double pivot. I'm not surprised by that. Spain just getting on top, I think, in those areas. But also for Spain coming on a left back that loves to bomb forward. So like for like on that side of the pitch. Kira Walsh on in that midfield. So we won't see Stanway in that deep area anymore. Williamson touches heavy. There's the pressure from Spain. Puteas. Little ball inside, Bon Mati. They're working it and shifting it, and the shot from the player of the second half, Del Castillo. But Hampton got there. Well, as I mentioned, Del Castillo sometimes playing as a false nine. It's Hermoso that's gone outside of the pitch. And Hampton showing her composure. Well, I think the Barcelona players will be keeping an eye on. Now Castillo for their matchup in the Champions League. Helped on by White. Well, what lovely options for England to be able to bring in players like Williamson and Walsh into the game. I, I think Stanway's had a solid game too, but this is a more natural position for her. And getting closer to what we probably feel is going to be their team, their first team going forward. It's going to be that midfield structure. Who plays ahead of Walsh and Williamson is another matter. 
I think we don't talk enough about the qualities of Alex Greenwood in possession. You know, that combination, Walsh to Greenwood and vice versa, I think opens up a lot for England. Cover there, Carmona. Spain still have that midfield three. Here's Lucia Garcia, Hermosa. Lucia Garcia, what a pass from Hermoso. Carter across. Carter gets the ball. That's what Carter does so well. Just caught a little bit Alex Greenwood. It's a wonderful pass in behind from Hermoso. Lucia Garcia, Hermoso. Sliding challenge across England Phil. That should have been their ball, actually. The game's starting to open up just a little. See who that suits more. Ivan. De Leon. And allowing her to progress the ball forward. Approaching is Hermosa. One Mati trying to play it inside. Oh, the challenge in there from Stanway. She's going to get a booking for that. That was a painful one for Patrick Iharo. Being held to her feet. I don't think she wants to get to her feet, to be honest. Well, the combinations we've come so used to seeing for Spain have been coming off the last 10, 15 minutes. It's a lovely little link up between Giharo and Bon Mati. Definite yellow. Georgia Stanway has been sent off this season for her club. The Manchester Derby. <laughs> Mappy Leon. It's a free kick for Spain. We await the breakthrough. This third game in the Arnold Clark Cup. Another tight affair between these two countries. <laughs> Pileon, that's a decent ball, just gets away though. And Hampton has held on to most things. Well, I think England set up really well. Puteas is normally the target player, but Spain looking to target the central zone against England. Should be a free kick to England on Mead got caught. She stayed down after that one. Fell on her. Yeah, painful one. I think the ref is going to have a tough job for the last 20 minutes. But it won't be the end to the substitutions. And the rain really blowing around the pitch inside, as well. There's Serena Vigman, that's what she thinks about the weather. A little bit cold. She looks absolutely freezing. <laughs> Boy, Wilders had that collar right up the whole game. Played forward. Spain will just clear it. This might work out for them to see Garcia chasing after that ball, but couldn't quite get there. Well, these games have really played out as we thought or hoped they might. Not much between the sides in all the games. But that's lost by Stanway. Puteas. Trigiharo in towards Hermoso. Barcelona players win the ball well. <laughs> together. So many games together for club and country. Puteas looking for Bormati. Well, Pateas has grown into the game, second half. Been instrumental in everything they're doing in the middle of the park. Walsh. One of her trademark. Long passes. Finds Mead. Bronze is up with her. Bronze clips it in. The best ball in the end. Here's Walsh keeping that pressure on. Bronze helping it out to Mead. 
couldn't get it back. Final pass not there for England. Here's Walsh. His passing is already on point. Williamson. And not for the first time, England pass when they should dribble and drive and dribble and drive when they should pass. Williamson trying to slip that one through to Stanway. Proteas. Chigiharu. Definitely the last pass for England. I think that they've lacked that all afternoon. He's <laughs> still frustrated on that particular attack. Because, of course, when Spain do get going in possession, you think, oh, we've got to wait a while before we get it back again. That's Ivana. Looking for an option. Not really there, but she found Fateas nicely. Kamuna. Another winger playing at fullback for Spain. And Trigiharo, no, that one doesn't hit his mark. Same could be said for Spain. In the amount of times you've seen Puteas and Patri Giharo get out of situations and then over either over hit the pass or under hit it. Oh, that's a risky pass from Hampton, but Daly helped it on nicely. And then and it breaks down. And they're getting themselves in promising positions. Ivana slipping, and here's Hemp looking to pick the pass that she has. It's White. The challenge got back. There enough. And England again, just spurning an opportunity. Oh, very close. Brilliant pass from Hemp. That was perfectly timed. And even if England were a little fortunate, great regain from Lauren Hemp. Perfectly weighted pass, good first touch, but gets stuck a little under her feet. Goal opened up there for Ellen White. Del Castillo, off she goes. Drives inside once more and gets it out to Lucia Garcia. Couldn't take it in her stride, just lost it. But Del Castillo, impactful in this second half, just like him. Now, what a pleasure to watch. She really is. I could see her growing into. This shirt, and like I mentioned before, Caldente, who's not playing, excellent options for two Spain. Oh, Mead does get the free kick eventually, took a while, and that allows England to make their next change. And it's Fran Kirby, Chelsea's Fran Kirby on for Beth Mead. This will be interesting to see how England change it. How will Kirby go in this system? No goal for Beth Mead today. What about for Frank Kirby in his closing stages, Emma? I'd love to see a central, but she's on the pitch and she's a player that's capable of that final pass. Bronx. First play with a cross. Lucy Bronze, she said in the first half, just working her way back from a long time out injured. Came off the bench against Canada. Stopping up some minutes here, though, for England. Kirby. Greenwood. To get it back towards Bronze, who has been able to get forward a little bit more in this second half. I think if she can in the last 20 minutes, it will allow Kirby to come inside slightly. They've got the added protection of uh, Williamson and Walsh behind the, the ball, so I wonder if England will commit. England on the attack, bronze. Driving forward right out of the room, Mappy Leon. Just leaves it enough for a goalkeeper. This game deserves a goal. It really does. This has been an excellent watch without a goal. Ivana. And Matti. Just quietly was about her business on the side. And the Garcia. Barroso in goes screen with defending well. What I've been impressed with of England's midfield defending is they're not being dragged out of position. So often Spain want to open up what I call the inner corridor channel, and England have defended it so well. Okay. 
working hard not to be turned. See Garcia, that's a good pass on Matty. Carrying it and going on, and that's going to be a goal kick. Didn't quite work out for Bon Matty, one of the players who scored Champions League final for Barcelona. And they're going to bring another winger on here. Sarigi from Real Sociedad comes on for Lucia Garcia. Sarigi started the game against Germany. She's stationed down on the right-hand side, and that's exactly where she's going to go now. Tough of the cheeks from Lucia Garcia. Probably could have had three goals in this tournament so far with her chances. Certainly had one of the best chances today. Chigiharo, strong header. Fell awkwardly, though. Concern for Spain. She's got to her feet. Moving too well. Carter. Greenwood. Walsh. Daly. Very impressive play from England. Stanway. Greenwood, one thought in her mind to spread the play and Bronx wins the header. And can Kirby get to this? The answer is yes. Williamson inside. Getting the bodies back though. Greenwood. Looks pass. A bit more promise from England in attack in the second half. There's a slight change in what they're doing. They push Lucy Bronze much higher. So that means in the build up, Williamson might drop into the fullback spaces to get on the ball. So that it allows Frank Kirby to be the second striker alongside Ellen White. It's encouraging to see the tactical plans from Serena Vigman on this England side in their first true tests under her stewardship. Bronx. Towards Stan, we're just going to run away there. Also been impressed with Mappy Leon defensively. Now, considering they're missing Paredes, I think she's done a good job. She was actually in the spot of the tournament for the Champions League last season. Paredes signed for Barcelona from PSG. That's not a replacer, but that's a come in the next in Barcelona defence. Here's Bronze. Carter. Greenwood inside, nice layoff from White. Walsh, England, walking the ball in. Well here, Bronze. Still Bronze, sends it in. Will it find him? Good header in there from Sheila Garcia. Sariegi can bring it away. Well, that was a classic Man City pattern. Greenwood up to Ellen White, back to Kira Walsh, and then the ball out wide. Out it goes, Del Castillo. Support from Carmona, who sends it in, and Carter in the right place again. Motion for Jess Carter in this game. Kirby, tough on her shirt. She got it to Ellen White, and that'll be a free kick to England. I think Ellen White's done a great job holding the ball up for the team, showing the right moments, used her experience. She's had to do a lot by herself, done it so well. No doubt she is the main woman up front for England. It's better to be at this Euros. Greenwood for the run of White. Trigi Haro, that's a nice ball into Puteas. To get goal side of Williamson. Picked up by Bronze. Kirby to Bronze. Carter. Hampton away. Patrick. To Bon Matti. De Leon. Hermoso. Matti. Tana Bon Matti. Spain working out. Sariegi. Puteas. Little drop of the shoulder. 
Hermoso is tight, squeezes the shot away. But Hampton read that one. That's probably one of the first time I'd seen the double switches from Spain in the second half. Really patient play, and Hermoso on the edge of the box. Lovely pivot, but comfortable from Hampton on her debut, certainly showing she belongs at this level. What's still great to see is that Spain is keeping count that midfield of theirs, and Hermoso is still playing as well. They'll take it off a little earlier against Germany. Maybe they just don't want to concede the game to England from this position. That's for sure. Stanway staying on, but not for much longer. Because Ella Toon of Manchester United will come on in that role behind the front. Well, I think really, really strong performance from Georgia Stanway, playing a role maybe not accustomed to. I certainly think she could grow into that and play anywhere in the midfield. But what a talent coming on. Really think she's got a huge future for England. So, England getting more and more of the big guns out, more and more of the side. I think it may start the European game of the Euros on the pitch. Greenwood pumps it forward. Breaks out to two. Ten. Bronze. Wants to turn because you're going to have so many players forward here. And bronze. Does well. Helps it in. Helps in there. Big punch from Lisa Rodriguez. Greenwood looking towards Bronze again. Good in the air, Bronze, but couldn't work it back. Oh, certainly what we've come to expect from Lucy Bronze. I'm sure with more and more games, we'll see more of, of this from her. It's lovely play to get in between. What you can't see on that picture is a cutback option as well as the deep ball. Spain get it back. And these two nations have met in recent times. It's always been close. Proteas, who scored the winner in the She Believes Cup in 2020. England won the meeting before that. Rodriguez. A Real Madrid teammate, Ivana. To Barcelona's Maitana Bonmati. Patrick Guijarro. Head up, looking to sweep that one behind bronze, and she's found her target. Del Castillo, this is promising for Spain. Del Castillo, lovely, pulled it back, nobody was there, but almost sat down Lucy Bronze. Well, what lovely feed from Del Castillo. And that's the problem if you don't get pressure on Patrick Guijaro in the deepest spaces. She sprays a wonderful ball deep out into the left-hand side. Just decision-making. She does everything else right. And the attendance announced to the crowd, who appreciate that. They've seen top class play in this game. A little tactical treat as well. Puteas. Sheila Garcia. Amosa. Chigiharo. One goal would win it from here. Who will it go to? That's a tricky one to predict. Looked pretty good in this second half, and the counter pass goes out of play. Kirby. 
We've enjoyed this match so far. There's another one to come this evening. Canada against Germany. Don't miss that one. Quarter to eight on ITV4. And then next week, the final round of games, starting with Spain against Canada from 2 p.m. And then England play Germany in the evening. But at the moment, we're looking at another draw here. It's going to be tough to see or predict who's going to win this competition. Here's Hermoso. Still time for a winner. Coteas. Trying to help that round. Now Del Castillo tearing after that. And she kept it in as well. That's brilliant work again. I mean, Spain just need to keep getting the ball out into that area of the pitch. What an impact from the sub. I think it's really difficult to call a player of the match today. Del Castillo, in terms of the impact she's made in the second half, has been exceptional. Spain corner, late on. They didn't just get that away. Garcia inside, gets it back. Is there a winner in this game? That's a tricky one for Hampton. Maybe it isn't. She took that one in. Oh, great composure from the youngster. And look at that ball just pinged out to him. And Hemp easily pass one. And wide it goes, numbers in attack, two trying to play it in. And Nappy Leon, her positioning has been fantastic as well. She's been exceptional at the back for Spain. England work it wide, bronze, plenty forward here, and the ball in towards them, near post, Kirby! Shot not hit cleanly at all by two. Well, really good play from England. Strong finish. Certainly helped for Lucy Bronze bombing for it's a brilliant ball to the front post. And I don't know why Frank Kirby did not shoot. Well, Spain are going to make a final. This will be a final change. Esther Gonzalez, and they've really given this game to Real Madrid. Amoso goes off. And Esther Gonzalez will come on. Well, certainly shown her qualities. It's always interesting to watch her play because she doesn't play as a traditional nine. Floats all over the pitch, creating problems. Here's Mappy Leon. This game could go either way. Del Castillo, nice touch inside. It's Del Castillo again. With Lucy Bronza torrid time, which has gone on the ball. He's been keeping that pressure on. We have to try and win this here. Toon. Losing out there. Castillo almost got hold of that. Trigiharo. Been so easy for her today. Then Bronze putting a foot in. Trigiharo. Wasn't sure about an option there for once. Here's Ivana. Stefan wanted that ball over the top. There's lots of Real Madrid link ups on this pitch now at the moment. Here's Bon Matti. Tia still in the game. Barcelona midfield three still on the pitch. Bon Matti probing for Tejas. Class play to just move it on. Del Castillo goes on. Oh. <laughs> Almost denouncing herself again. 
Well, I think Spain heard me criticise their wing play at half-time because of what a second half Del Castillo has had. And while I think Lucy Bronze has been good going forward, defensively she's had her work cut out. Well, I'll tell you what, who is your player of the match? <laughs> I'm going to give it to her for the impact she's made the second half. Look, I think across the board, Hampton, clean sheet on her debut. I think Ellen White has led the line well, and I think both Carter and Green would have been exceptional. But I'm going to give it to the sub. It's really eye-catching second half display. It hasn't led to a goal yet. Time will we see it on here? That's a big crowd that's turned out for this one. We have something to cheer in this game from either side, really. It's been the level on Matty. Looking turning. Harry gives it away. Daly. Williamson. Inside and away from tackle after tackle for Teas with the foul, no complaints from her. Even when you think she might have lost the ball, she doesn't. I don't think I'm going to be too popular with that. <laughs> Four minutes added on. So they're running out of time here for a winner. But Alex Greenwood can put in a good delivery. Will this be one of them? Spain, everybody back. Serena Vigman, a right smile. Hopeful that England can nick it late on here. Greenwood. In it goes. And Daly's free. Spain wanted a free kick in there. They'll bring it away. Ramona. Gonzalez. Or England a bit stretched here all of a sudden. Spain flooding shirts forward. Carter got something on that, but not enough of it. Del Castillo. And oh, there is Hampton right at the death. What a counter attack. I thought Del Castillo was going to nick it at the death. Flicked on from Jess Carter, she does so well, but Hampton, what a debut. Stands firmly behind it, even the mild deflection. Del Castillo, only eight caps at the moment for Spain. It's safe to say that the 21-year-old's going to have a long more as well. Got a 21-year-old in Hemp, 21-year-old in Hampton, 21-year-old in Del Castillo. It's an exciting future national level I think for Spain to be real contenders this summer they need players like Del Castillo and as I mentioned before Caldente to just add to their qualities going forward Hansen and Luca Martins impactful players for Barcelona from those areas the Norwegian the as well there's a challenge from him of duty so well. Only a couple of minutes left here. We've had two 1 1s in the opening round of matches. Looking at a 0 0 here. Sheila Garcia skips inside the curve. Sariegi. Gonzalez. Juan Mati. On Matty, drifting inside, sending in the cross. Well dealt with by Bronze. Helped on by two, but only as far as Esther Gonzalez. Chigiharo, Bon Matty. Been working hard. Well, what a second half she's had. Bon Matty really come into the game, second half. Mateas, Garcia sends it in, away by... Greenwood, strong performance from her as well. Lots of standout performances in this game. Daly away. Now Toon. Touch though, gave it straight back to Spain. 
from the team. Last 30 seconds. A really entertaining nil-nil game, must be said. Lots to learn for both teams. And the England shown how well they are progressing without the ball and how good they're becoming defensively. This might be the last attack. Chigiharo. Spain stretching it. Bronze caught in two minds. Mona strikes bronze with that one. So a stalemate, but certainly not a stale game. A really engaging contest between these two sides, top level sides as well in world football, that's for sure. England certainly had their chances. Roran Hemp hitting the post for Spain, also creating chances as well. Neither side could find a way through though. So it ends England nil, Spain nil, and all the analysis after the break.